I, I have to play for you in case you haven't seen it, and I can guarantee you, you haven't seen it. The Taiwanese foreign minister says his country is preparing for war and is asking Australia for help. And I, I want you to listen to this. Uh, he is he is full fledged freaking out here. Listen. Defense of Taiwan is in our own hands, and we are absolutely committed to that. And if China is going to launch a war against Taiwan, we will fight to the end. And that is our commitment. And of course, during this period of time, we would like to exchange with other countries for security cooperation. And we would like to engage in security or intelligence exchanges with other like-minded partners, Australia included, so that Taiwan is better prepared to deal with the war situation. And so far, our relations with Australia is very good. And that is what we appreciate it for. Okay. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> Help us. They're coming. And notice he doesn't mm. he doesn't use the United States. United States. Yeah. Is there a chance the United States act, I mean we have a no. treat we're bound to it. Nope. Not a chance. I don't think there's a single chance. Not a chance. That's why he didn't say anything about it. Correct. He <laughs> knows there's no chance. Correct. Lost cause. We won't even rescue our own people out of Kabul. We're certainly not gonna help Taiwan. What are they freaking out about though? Just because seventy seven warplanes from China fly over their Island? Uh, Is that what they're worried about? No, it was 150. Oh, it was 150? 150 warplanes have now crossed into Taiwan Mm. and have flown over Taiwan. And that has unnerved them a little bit? Yeah, 56 just today. Just just 56, Uh, though, warplanes. A new Ah. record. Because it was 38, and then it was 39, and then 56. Yeah. And uh, 25 fighter jets and nuclear-capable bombers into their air defense identification zone. Mm. And you would think, okay, so you're trying at that point to provoke something. Yes. You're definitely trying to be shot at. Yes. So that you can respond. Yes. It's getting pretty dangerous. Yes. It feels like it, China has hit a, some weird level of yeah, desperation it does. and anger. Uh, like, I mean, they've mm-hmm. always been terrible, but like they haven't crossed these lines. But you think recently with the collapse of, of that um, was Evergrande, it? Evergrande um, they cut off all cryptocurrency transactions in the entire country. Oh, no, no. You know why they Massive did that? Massive energy problems. Yeah, Massive you, energy oh, problems. Oh, no, no, no. No? No? No. No. Really? No. Oh. You haven't heard? Oh, no. 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 China has explained all of this. Okay. Oh. They got rid of the Bitcoin because Bitcoin takes so <laughs> much energy. Oh, Okay, mm-hmm. and this is all part of them going green. Mm-mm. And um, oh. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no, but they got rid of all cryptocurrencies, and and yeah, because even, any transaction takes so much energy. No, but but huh. when you're not well, on the same system as Bitcoin, even those dumb arguments don't apply. So it, 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 no, I mean China, uh, China mm-hmm. is is very clear on this. Uh, just one transaction consumes. One uh, one thousand five hundred and forty four kilowatt hours or the equivalent of 53 days of power for the average household. Did they <laughs> did they no, uh, don't, don't, don't address don't any it. of the other cryptocurrencies that have no pr- power profile that's anywhere close to that? Because uh, they banned all no. cur- cryptocurrency did transactions. Did you know that Bitcoin mined in China uses fi- uh, 86 terawatt hours of electricity? And oh, to mine of, it? Yes. Well, that's first of all, two thirds from coal power, they, and that's why they banned it. They're getting rid of their coal power. That's not true. They also uh, nope. banned. They also banned mining a long time ago. That. There, so this is mm-hmm. this have nothing to do with that. Right. Secondarily, a lot of the mining was done on excess hydropower. Uh, mm-hmm. As they were set up close to these giant. Okay, uh, if you want to, if you want to throw in your own little facts here. Uh, well, that was that, kind of what I was. Yeah, look, I was trying I'm, to. I'm just telling you. Spin. I'm just. <laughs> yes, I'm just telling you mm-hmm. that Chairman Z has come out and said we are trying. There's no way we're going to meet the world's mm-hmm. standards unless we get off of coal, and Bitcoin is part of that. And now we're closing down <laughs> some of our factories and <laughs> some of our towns because we really want to hit the green energy demands and. So are they closing the empty towns that they've built? Is that what they're doing? We're going to close down all the well, pretend yes, towns them, that no them. one lives in. Oh yes, some of yeah. them have to close down. Yeah, oh, sure. Wow. They've they've wow. yeah that Evergrande built. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. And they've they've also shifted imports of coal from Australia. Australia was the number one 
importer of coal for China, and they said wow. no more. Now, mm. now they've doubled the Mongolian coal that's coming in, uh, <laughs> and so, but they're going to, they're really, because they learned, they said, you know, we see the writing on the wall with financing, and the way Western financing is working, we're not going to be able to build these coal plants. So even though they built all of these coal plants last year, Mm -hmm. They want us to know that they're going to abandon them yeah. soon. And this is what's... Well, how old were you last year? I mean, I can't even remember. Was I even born last year? I don't think so. Were there dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think there might have been. Uh, by the way, their peak uh, coal-fired power generation is supposed to happen in 2027. They keep moving mm -hmm. that back, but they're still increasing... Mm -hmm. Their coal consumption from yeah, now until 2027, and that, those are their projections. Yeah, but they're going to close them down real quick right oh, now. Really? Right now, they're just, that's what this power out. Don't think that it's some sort of a shortage or, you know, central planning gone wrong. They don't you have know? that. That's they not don't. an issue for them. <laughs> it's not an issue. Mm -hmm. no. It all works fine in mm -hmm. China. Mm -hmm. And uh, and getting coal, you know, no longer getting coal from Australia, that's not strategic. They just wanted to get it from Mongolia because Mongolia is landlocked and it's really close to China where mm -hmm. you got to ship that dangerous coal all the way across the sea yeah. to China. Wow, that's and, uh, the cutting edge of the green movement. I believe Al Gore once told us that. Didn't he, he sure Pat? did. Yes, he did. What yeah. did he sound like when he said it? <laughs> <laughs> what am I, your trained monkey? No, yes, I, just, I was are. asking a question. Yeah, yeah, That's go all. ahead. Uh, on. China is on the cutting edge <laughs> of environmentalism. <laughs> the cutting edge. That's a real quote, by the way. It is. Yeah. It is an actual quote from him. This is. This yeah. is the by far the largest polluter <clears throat> in the world. Uh, responsible for what? Eighty percent of all plastic in the ocean. Uh, responsible for emissions that are way above the United States of America. And they were building the, the equivalent of a coal-fired power plant every week yeah. when he said it.